Mr. Trump, his running mate J.D. Vance, continue to make baseless claims about Haitian immigrants in Ohio. This weekend, there were new bomb threats in that town. Now, guess what's going to happen? 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. None of these had any validity uh, at all. Unfortunately, overseas, uh, who are taking these actions. But J.D. Vance is also the person who started the false rumors uh, more than a week ago about Springfield, Ohio, and that has led to bomb threats, school evacuations, city hall evacuations. What? <laughs> Unreal. I'm sure that, like me, you've noticed that even days after Governor DeWine stated that the bomb threats in Springfield were a total hoax and came from a foreign country, the media is still continuing to this day to claim that Trump and Vance somehow caused these bomb threats. And the media has been bristling ever since at the very notion that they had anything to do with the second assassination on Donald Trump in two months. Think about that for a minute. The media is literally spreading disinformation across the country that came from a foreign source and is interfering in our election. But don't worry because it's totally different when they do it. Nope, nope, nope. No evidence for any of that. And here we are eight days after that debate and schools and two colleges in Springfield have been disrupted by bomb threats and shooting threats. And each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. But J.D. Vance is also the person who started the false rumors uh, more than a week ago about Springfield, Ohio, and that has led to bomb threats, school evacuations, city hall evacuations. These, these threats uh, have all been hoaxes. We just heard from Gene Robinson, who's in Springfield, Ohio, on the ground there as two more elementary schools face bomb threats. Now six schools in Springfield having to close for periods of time because of bomb threats, kids missing these early days of school, parents having to deal with all that directly because of a lie that's being told, because of fear being whipped up about a group of legal immigrants, Haitian immigrants. These, these threats uh, have all been hoaxes. Uh, we have people, uh, unfortunately, overseas uh, who are taking these actions. Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are not questioning the rhetoric. Right now, because of their rhetoric, because of what he said in that debate, there's been 33 bombing threats in Springfield, Ohio. Fucking lying to me. So yeah, this is another straight up drive-by Democrat operation. As Tom Elliott from Gerbein Media pointed out, quote, as you can see from the first chart, the corporate media spent at least 350 hours circulating the bomb threat story. Last night, Ohio Governor DeWine announced the bomb threats were all hoaxes. And yet, as of this morning, only three hours were spent last night announcing the hoax, versus 35 hours yesterday discussing the original bomb threat story. And it's continued today with the media continuing to claim the bomb threats are somehow derived from Donald Trump and J.D. Vance, while also simultaneously claiming that their insane rhetoric against Donald Trump and Supreme Court judges have absolutely nothing to do with the assassination attempts against them. Think about it now. What do you call a group that intentionally deceives and harms the population when their original mandate was to keep power in check? I think that we should all start proudly calling them exactly what they are, an enemy of the people. Let me know what you all think in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.